Hey everyone, Danny here. Just posting an update to confirm that I'm not deceased. I know I've been on one of my hiatuses for a few months now. I say one of because I'm kind of notorious for that on Tumblr. Got at least like five text posts apologizing and explaining why I was MIA. I don't know how this keeps happening, honestly. And always around the same time, oddly enough. Anyway, I figured I'd take the time to explain myself here, as well as address a few things. Maybe there'll be a speed paint or something going on that's completely unrelated. <laughs> I've actually been meaning to take, well rather, to make an update video for a few months now, but man, shit just kept popping up. God, where do I begin? My last video was when, like, three months ago? Maybe more? I'm not sure. I was getting a little overwhelmed with school, just figuring out stuff and planning, you know, that early or nearing mid-twenties life crisis that happens when you're so concerned about the future. Like, you don't know where you're going, yet you want to do everything, but time is, like, against you? I think some of you know what I mean. Most of you have yet to discover that kind of horror that comes with young adulthood. <laughs> anyway, along with my crisis, I was also dealing with finals, and then I decided to add the extra burden of trying to actually finish my unfinished second year film, Heidi. You see, my initial goal was to get it done in time for my school's film festival, which happened early May, so I had to get this thing done like late April, around the same time finals were happening. I honestly don't know why I did that to myself. But at the time, I was, like, super determined. Like, I sacrificed so much of my free time. Like, from February onward, when I wasn't at school or at my shitty part-time job, I was working on Heidi, which was, at that point, mostly completed. Just needed, like, color and editing, as well as a sound mix. Since my laptop was, like, slow as hell, I spent most of my time at school, in the computer labs, animating away. Then when they'd close, I'd maybe have like a social life for two hours before going home and staying up late to animate more. Like you'd think with all that time I spent working on it, it would have definitely gone done, right? Nope. I did not make the deadline. In fact, I'm still, at this, at this time of publishing this video, working on Heidi. I'll explain. As I mentioned before, I had finals, and my shitty part-time job, so I couldn't get everything done on the days I had free. Also had things like a relationship. I still have a thing like a relationship. <laughs> and I realized I was neglecting that. Well, thankfully, I'm with someone who's super supportive and understanding. And doesn't mean that he doesn't miss me, though. And... Two hours every two days out of the week, not counting bumping into each other at work. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. My family barely saw me too, and I still live with them, so yeah, yeah that's saying a lot. <laughs> but even if I had made that deadline, I still wouldn't have been able to submit my film, because the sound mixing engineer never got back to me, and if you want your film to be screened, you absolutely gotta have your sound mixed. Like. I just had two songs on my soundtrack, bro. Couldn't do me that solid. So yeah, nearing like a week before submissions were due, I was like, fuck everything, and decided to take a break, again, from working on Heidi. And let me tell you, one of the most shittiest feelings is when you work so hard and sacrifice so much for almost nothing. I say almost be nothing because despite everything, I still do plan on finishing Heidi and posting it on YouTube. Heck, what's like a hundred people at a screening got against like shit like over 19,000 subscribers now as of recording this? Like damn! <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's that's pretty comforting. So yeah, I'm going to finish Heidi for me, but also for you guys, and for someone else. Oh boy. Yeah, so another more tragic thing happened during my hiatus. 
Our cat, Felix, passed away back in April. He was a black cat, 13 years old, and honestly, the best cat I ever met. He was such a sweet boy. He was my stepmom's cat, and I only lived with him for about two years, but we had a pretty tight bond. I'd always come home late from either school or work, and he'd be the first face I'd see, mostly because everyone else was asleep, but still. He'd chill with me in my room, and I'd feel, like, less alone, you know? He started losing weight gradually around the time I was always out and about working on my film. Like, it took me a while to notice, you know? When I did, I told my stepmom he needs to see a vet because he just wasn't acting himself. Long story short, Felix had a tumor in his stomach that spread to his other organs. They had to put him down. It was, um, it was pretty tough. <laughs> I mean, it never gets easier losing a pet, losing anyone. I couldn't help but think that maybe things would have been different if I had not been out all that time. Like maybe if I was home more often, I would have noticed earlier and maybe we could have saved him, but I surmise that it isn't my fault. These things happen and I definitely don't want any of my hard work to go in vain. If I don't finish Heidi, all of that time I had spent away would have been for nothing. So I'm also going to finish this film for Felix. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for the depressing and personal subject matter. I just really want you guys to understand how important it is that I finish my shitty second year film. Which probably begs the question, well Danny, what about that Wolf Song prequel? You really teased us with that 20 second rough animation. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I really do want to finish that too. It's not quite a priority as Heidi, but I do intend to finish it. Hell, I have the whole video and thumbnail sketches. I just gotta redraw them into a cleaner animatic. And yes, it's only going to be an animatic. In a perfect world, I'd have it fully animated, but animation is hard, guys, and I'm just one person doing everything most notable animators on YouTube, if you've noticed, in their credits of their videos have more often than not some kind of help. I don't have that kind of help. I'm like a one-person team. I do everything. <laughs> I conceive the idea, I thumbnail, I storyboard, I in-between, I keyframe, I color, I edit. In one of my videos I did like two voices. I do everything. <laughs> Animation takes a lot of time, even storyboarding takes time. To put in perspective, Heidi is about five minutes long and has taken me several months to complete. And it is going to be fully animated and colored. Given, it's not going to be a masterpiece, but damn it, I'm doing a five minute long animated film on my own. That's a lot of work for something that was initially supposed to be my second year film. Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Now, Never Talk to Strangers, the uh, Wolf Song prequel thing, is going to be four minutes long. <laughs> yeah, I can't... I'm going to die. <laughs> Especially since I'll have to start planning for my graduating film in the fall. Ugh. Like, I don't even want to think about that right now. So anyway, to be clear, Heidi will be first, followed by the Wolf Song prequel, Never Talk to Strangers, and maybe there'll be a few speed paint videos in between. Or like, maybe I'll do a Q&A video when I reach 20k, if that happens. If that's something that, you know, tickles your fancy. Or a reading your comments video, something like that. I hope I cleared some things up. I, I hope you all understand. So please don't be outraged if I post something like Heidi and it isn't wolf song related. I'm glad some of you are like super passionate about it, but there are also other things that I'm passionate about. Things I want to create eventually. I hope that you come for wolf song and stay for the other potentially cool stuff. Speaking of wolf song stuff, I figured I'd end this update video with something for the wolf song fans. Since, you know, that's the majority of uh, you people. <laughs> So if you've made it this far, I have provided you with a link to a poll where we will finally decide a name for Red. Because I honestly can't make up my mind and I don't know, I thought it would be a fun idea. 
So, um, thanks for watching. Thank you for your patience. Um, I'll announce the winning name on my Instagram and Tumblr, so be sure to follow me on one of those, or both. Both is good. So, take care, everyone. Um, love each other <laughs> while, while you still have each other. I hope to bring you more content soon and stay awesome. Bye. Also, I need to mention that uh, in this past month, June, yeah, I was like taking extra classes. <laughs> That's another reason why I was busy. Then my uh, my brother brought home a cat. Yeah, you know, to fill the void in our hearts, I guess. But it's also because, I mean, he found her in like her two siblings, like under a fence. It was gonna rain that day, and um, yeah, my friend uh, found homes for the other two, and uh, this little black and white kitty that we named Maeve. Yep, uh, it's our cat now. And so I've been just uh, raising this cat, which is, boy, <laughs> not easy. She's about five weeks old now? Yeah, she's a handful, man. Anyway, so that was like another reason why I haven't been super active.